uh, thanks for hearing us. Um, sorry for the surprise talk. Um, we won't be able to uh, stage it earlier. So, yes. What we like to announce today is a new project called LEAD. As you can see, uh, we, it's about rebooting the OpenWRT project uh, in a new community driven manner, um, mainly to, uh, yes solve a few issues we have seen in the OpenWRT project during the last few years. So I'd like to summarize some points. As you can see, or as you might have already noticed this year and uh, part of last year, there's, uh, there's been an all-time low in development activity in OpenWRT. Um, there's very few active uh, developers at the moment, uh, very few commits, uh, most stuff being done at the moment is just merging patches sent by community members. And uh, therefore there's a lot of workload and a few committers, it's mainly Felix and John and others uh, just doing merging of patches and uh, don't have any time to do real development. Yes, so um, there have been community complaints about uh, intransparency and open WRT communication processes. Uh, people were wondering like uh, how is the project managed, uh, who, uh, who's making the decisions, um, are there any secret channels where people are communicating and stuff like that. And of course, uh, maybe you noticed there has been the big downtime um, recently uh, where we had uh, infrastructure issues, the server has been down, and we've not been able to explain the situation clearly. So on all these four points uh, are basically uh, things that got us thinking and that finally convinced us to um, radically change the approaches and try something new here. And so we attempt to start a new project and want to address some of these issues. So um, we thought a lot about how to address all these issues that we had because people were complaining that they, they don't really know how the OpenWRT project is structured. So they don't know how to get involved with it. They don't know where to start in many, in many ways. And a lot of it is attributed to the fact that there's there's a lot of discussion by the community and then we have the core team that kind of did its own thing in, in, in a completely closed off from the public communication and there was really no simple way to get new people started, to get new people involved, to bring them up to speed in, in how, to, how to start to contribute, how to learn their way around. And we, we thought about trying many different, uh, many different small changes and small, small things in the OpenWRT project to, to improve the situation, but uh, face the point where many of the uh, bigger di changes that we wanted to make were just too controversial for the team in internally. We tried to, to make some, some bigger changes and then uh, other people that were not very active in the OpenWRT project but were still c uh, considered core members of the team uh, started basically saying, oh, but what if we try this and what if we try this? So we ha basically had a long discussion of many what-ifs and never actually got to the part of doing a single thing of it. And it was always, it was always easy to find points of uh, criticism for various things. And at some point we decided we we really cannot address all these issues from within the OpenWRT project because then we would basically have to discuss each and every single point to death with people who weren't really all that active in the recent time. So we decided the only way to, to really try to fix the bigger, issue, bigger issues is to just start an experiment and start an experiment uh, where we're not constrained by the level of discussion and closeness that the current OpenWRT project had. So we essentially decided we're going to, to build a new community around the project. We're going to give it a new name to, to uh, show that this is, this is really radically different from what we did before. And the main goal that, that we had was uh, take, all, take all the lessons that we've learned from the experiments that we did manage to do, like pushing the, the package development onto GitHub and basically 
giving more control uh, and, and more responsibility to maintainers that weren't considered part of the core team. So making it easier for, for people to start really feeling responsible for merging things, for maintaining a quality level and all these things. And this is something that ended up working really well because with the GitHub project, we ended up getting a second community around the OpenWRT project, which was distinct from, from the previous core team. There was a lot of activity there and people stepped up, started maintaining it, started dealing with pull requests, started doing reviews in, in a way that would not have worked if we had limited it to the, to the way that the, the OpenWRT core team works. So with a new project called LEAD, uh, which stands for Linux Embedded Development Environment, we decided to just take that to the next level and just use the way that has worked so well with the, with the GitHub approach, basically being very liberal about uh, how we work, being very transparent of how we work, to extend that to the whole project. And we, we built some new infrastructure for the project to make sure that we don't have any dependencies on OpenWRT where there's people still responsible for, for the old infrastructure. So we just created something new as a playground, as a staging ground for the new development that we do. We got an, a new domain, we got new basic infrastructure, we got a new patchwork instance and mailing lists, and we got a build bot infrastructure which already works much better than the one that OpenWRT has. And let's just one. As you can see, there's, there's a long list of uh, people that have been very active in the OpenWRT project already. Uh, I'd say most of, uh, most of the, the the real work that has been done in, uh, over the last couple of months uh, was done by people that are on this list that are already on board with the new project and the com community reboot. One of the really main, uh, most important aspects of what we do in the new project, let's see if we have it on the slide, no, we don't have it here. Um, one of the most important parts is that everything we do with a new project is completely transparent. We have uh, we only have public communication channels. There's no distinction between a core team and external uh, communities or something like that anymore. So everybody's welcome to join. All of the discussion that's going on is public, though there are some channels where you have to be a member to be able to write, So just so we have some kind of noise filtering going on. But everything we do from from the decisions that we make, there are public meetings that are logged and archived, and all of this is publicly accessible to everybody. So with a, with a new project, uh, anybody can see how we work, how we make decisions, what our current status and progress is, and this should make it a lot easier for to get involved. And maybe Joe wants to say some, something about the plans that we have? Yes, um, so we have, of course, some future plans to address, address some of the shortcomings uh, we had in the OpenWRT project as it exists right now. So one big issue we'd like to address is we want to have fixed predictable release cycles. Uh, we haven't decided yet uh, how frequently we are going to release, but um, I think it will be something about every six to every 12 months. We want, once we are done consolidating the new project, start working on a lead number one release, which will basically, I think you can, could call it uh, the release that the OpenWT 1505.1 should have been. And we'd like to put a lot of more effort into testing of boards, like uh, we are planning to bootstrap a testing infrastructure not only in uh, technical aspects, but also like organizing the community, like uh, having dedicated people being responsible for testing boards for, for release and uh, green lighting devices and saying, okay, I tested the, the, the boots, it's working fine from my perspective, it's ready to release. So that we have a better test coverage about, yeah, uh, um, of devices in the future. Yes, and of course, we'd also like, well, we are already there changing the name uh, from OpenWRT to something else. Also, like to possibly.
was like five or ten people being responsible for the project, but we want to be huge. So these are our most important goals for the future. And yeah, how can you help us? As I already said, we are still in the progress of consolidating the project. Um, we have the basic infrastructure one more or less, and we would appreciate if you could spread the word. So we'd like communities, users uh, of OpenWRT to endorse the new, the new project. We are, of course, inviting you to participate in development, uh, help testing, help writing documentation, just hanging out in the channel, using it, uh, give feedback. And, of course, we are seeking donations of, uh, of hardware resources. We will need to, to further scale the project. Right now, we are running on uh, like two uh, privately paid machines um, for hosting the build board instances and for mirroring open WRT download server copy as well as repositories. And we want to bring some redundancy into the board instances and stuff like that. So, if we could get donated space, it would be really great. All right. So, that pretty much concludes <laughs> our presentation. You can find a lot more details uh, at the project's website. We attempted to put the most important information there. And if you have any questions, now the time to ask them.